Watch you guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at HTML signatures and how we can use those inside uh, Microsoft Outlook. Now HTML signatures are something that help you promote your business and when you send out emails it will be your little signature at the bottom of the email. Now you can make them as basic or as complex as you like but I'd advise you to keep them pretty simple uh, but with maximum impact when you're sending out emails. So let's get started. Now we're going to be using um, a notepad here, but I'm not going to type it all out on the screen because it takes quite a long time to set up. But if you don't know how to do it inside notepad, then there is websites that you can use, which I'll be showing you later on in the video. So let's get started. So here is a typical um, code for HTML, which is for our signature. And as you can see, this one is for my friend, uh, timscomputerfix.net and we'll be uh, filling this out as you can see here this is the actual HTML code Now it does look a bit uh, weird to some people but once we put this into a HTML format file uh, from notepad it will then look something like this on the screen here now all you need to do if you want to save this as from after you've edited it you can go save as and then from there you can rename this HTML .html like so and also all files and then save that file to your desktop once you've done that you've now got your html file and to import this into our program what we're going to do here is open up word so i'm just going to quickly open up word this is a quick and easy way of doing it all you need to do is go open Go to the desktop and then click on the signature and as you can see here this is our signature we've got our little logo in here and also some information as you can see this is from my friend Tim Kelly and as you can see this is his business address and emails and details okay with a little uh, description at the bottom here to protect you okay um, disclaimer and that's basically a basic looking uh, template so we're going to be using this to import this now all you need to do here at this stage if you want to is highlight all this like so and then control uh, C to copy it into your uh, clipboard and then we're going to paste this into our program so let's open up our Microsoft Outlook and uh, what we're going to do here is go to tools options and inside options we're going to go to mail format and you want to make sure that HTML is enabled and this is Outlook uh, 2007 but it works in similar to all the other types of uh, Office as you can see here or Office Outlook then click on signatures and once you click on signatures you'll see I've got one already in here already created but if you want to create another one all you need to do is click on new and then name your signature whatever you like uh, whatever company your name is or something like that so for instance um, if I put test in here for now click test all we need to do here is now go into this little area here push control V and this will then paste that into our area as you can see here it will be for new messages for this account so we want to change this to test here and also for this one here and for email account we want to select the account that we want it to embed into once we've uh, opened up a new mail now this could be whatever account it is but this one is going to be for this account click OK and then click OK again and that's now created so now we click on new mail so if we click on new and as you can see as soon as you click on new mail it will open up for that account now you can select which account you want if it's not on that account and it will embed into there and basically from there all you need to do is type out your message like so and basically that will be your email and as it sends out they will receive it like that okay now if they're not um, got uh, HTML enabled it will be just a blank part here but this is basically how it will look and you can have all your details on there looks much more nicer than just a blank um, email 
So now we've got that done, I did mention that if you can't do all the coding yourself, there is actual websites that you can use. And I'm going to just show you a couple here. This one's called Signature Generator. You basically just fill this information out here. So you can put your primary information here, the name. This is just bogus information from the website. And this is what your signature will look like once finished. It will be this area here. And as you can see, you would upload your logo and put your information in. And you can even put in all your little Facebook and stuff like that. Very, very useful. Now, if, you need, if you're good at coding, then you can code all this yourself. But if you're not, as I said, you can use this type of website. Title, email, mobile address, and so on and so on. You can even upload your logo. Very easy to do, and it will look very professional when it's finished. Now, there is another one, which is called SIG. Uh, which and uh, basically you just fill out all the information here it's free and just click on start and then you can embed this into Microsoft Outlook, Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail and AOL okay so that's basically how you create your own signatures so I hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed the videos then hit the like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button and that will keep you up to date when I upload new videos so I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your support. Bye for now.